so welcome to day seven of our Instapot 2023 Instapot collab. Berlin's gonna help me make elderberry syrup in our Instapot. Now I know a lot of the homesteads like to use elderberry syrup to build up their immunities and that, and we do the same. So we're gonna go ahead and put together in our Instapot our elderberry syrup recipe and show you how we make it and then how we bottle it. So we're gonna start with Berlin, five cups of water in the Instapot. Okay. All right, next I want you to put one cup of elderberries. Now we pick up our elderberries, uh, we grow some, go ahead and put it on in. We grow some and we pick up some. Now this is from a organic elderberries. We'll put the link down in the description if you don't have your own elderberry bushes. We do have some, but it's out of season right now. We've already used up all the ones that we've grown. Okay, Berlin, where's your head? There you are, okay. So next I'm gonna have you put two small cinnamon sticks or one large. We have two smalls of the cinnamon sticks. He's gonna throw those in the Instapot. And then some chopped up fresh ginger. There he goes, all right. That is it besides honey. So we're gonna put this in, we're gonna get this cooking for 10 minutes, 10 minutes on the Instapot and then we will do some other things to it. So using the Instapot only, this is a one pot cooking. So go ahead and get your lid on. Tighten that up. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and just do it on a manual pressure for 10 minutes. And we will be back. Okay, now that the pressure cooker has finished, and it's gone ahead and expelled most of it on its own. I just turned it to finish up. We're gonna let this pressure cooker get the lid off of it and start it on saute for 10 minutes. Okay, now I've sauteed my syrup now for 10 minutes. So it's got the ginger and the cinnamon in it and all the beet, the berries. Um, along with that water. And we're gonna strain this and let it sit um, until it's about room temperature. Once that's done, we're gonna add honey into the juice that's left. We're straining out all the, the chunks is what we're doing, making it just a syrup. And we're gonna put the honey in it and then we'll bottle it up. <laughs> All right, so I've gone ahead, I put an old cloth in here. I use uh, flour sack cloth, you can use cheesecloth. Um, this one had holes in it uh, on one side and was tore, so we're using this one because it does get stained with the elderberry syrup. So just know that. Um, so everything's in here. I've got a colander or strainer underneath and then the bowl underneath that. So what I'm gonna end up doing is pulling this cloth up to make sure all the juice oh you got a nice uh, view of steam there guys I'm gonna make sure all the juice is out of here and we're gonna let this hit room temperature so we've got all of the juice from our instapot out and we strained all of the chunks all the berries and the uh, cinnamon and ginger now if you don't have your own cinnamon and ginger sticks and or fresh ginger you can use powdered now my honey has crystallized this is some local honey that I get so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in even though this has not hit room temperature yet to try and melt down my honey just a little okay so we've got all of our honey stirred in here now and we can go ahead and bottle this up now i like to use the same bottles that i use for my kombucha i've got a little funnel that goes with it you can use a mason jar there's no there's no issue with that so i'm going to go ahead and have rowan hold this bottle we're all stirred up here make sure that there was no chunks of that crystallized honey still in here and i'm gonna pour this into these it's a kombucha bottle okay 
Okay. You got some bubbles in there, so it's got some more room here. You need to move your hands away so I can see. I can't see the juice, baby. There we go. Okay. Now this is completed. This is ready to go into the refrigerator and to be used. Go and make sure you label your bottle. There's a little bit left in here that I'll use another small um, jelly sized jar. But you can put this over ice cream. You can add this to smoothies or you can take spoonfuls of this for later. So there you go. Another way to use your Instant Pot. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all the videos down in the description. The recipe is on our website. There's a link in the description for that as well as a link for the bottles that we do use and the elderberries that you can order online. Say goodbye. Bye. Say, see you on the next video. Bye for now, y'all.